Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about a potential tropical storm Gamma that looks to be aiming to Florida, and we'll go over the reasons why. So before we do get started, if you do like weather-related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I'm also releasing my winter outlook for 2020, 2021 coming up on this weekend on Saturday. So definitely stay tuned for that. So for this video, we're gonna go over Gamma and kind of you know, set the stage and how all this is gonna play out. The National Hurricane Center has up the ante from a 20% all the way up to a 50% now, just in the last 24 hours of a potential tropical storm development that's coming out of the Caribbean. And this will look like it'll go into the Gulf of Mexico and possibly into Florida in about a week. So let's kind of delve into the details. Here's the overall, how it's gonna play out. We've got a subtropical ridge over Texas. We've got a trough setting up over the Southeast. We have another B B Bermuda high setting up on o over Bermuda. And in the middle, we've got what they call like kind of like the central gyra. This is just an area of a thunderstorm development that's just kind of like mustering in, in the, uh, the Caribbean. And so we talked about this cold front. It's going to be kind of like a, a squeeze play that's going to be slowly progressing uh, throughout the week. And I do think with all these dynamics coming into uh, fruition, we are going to have some sort of uh, tropical development in the Caribbean, probably south of Cuba. And the steering flow will eventually steer it into the Gulf of Mexico and go into uh, possibly Florida. So if we take a look at the overall jet streak and how this is going to look by this weekend, it really amplifies to the north. You can see it the, the darker reds. It really intensifies. What that basically causes is, is divergence uh, underneath. We saw this happen with Laura. We saw this happen with Beta after cold fronts setting the stage of lowering the pressures underneath and that causes some sort of spin up down south and eventually that will pull up and, and, and bring it north. So if we take a look at the overall uh, satellite imagery for this morning, you can kind of see how this is going to play out with that first initial cold front that came through yesterday. Now that's actually pushed all the way into the Gulf of Mexico and that's even causing some a little divergence uh, on the south side with a little flare up of thunderstorms in the Bay of Campeche, uh, even even with this setup. And so if we take a look at uh, this area, this area disturbed weather here, that's coming off the main development region, all this will move westward and eventually come together in the Gulf of Mexico, as I mentioned, kind of a, a squeeze play. And by this weekend, I do think we'll have a tropical storm a gamma, a come to fruition and that will move into uh, the Gulf of Mexico next week. If we take a look at the uh, overall EPS probability guidance and even they have upped the ante and really has kind of circled in in this little hot spot by the Caribbean south of Cuba of a tropical storm development coming out of the Caribbean and going into the Gulf of Mexico by Saturday. Now, if we take a look at the overall, even the GEFS um, ensemble members, and they've actually uh, upgraded this model on Saturday, and we've been kind of waiting for this, and now they've uh, they made it a lot better. And so this is the overall ensemble members. There's 31 ensemble members, and there's you can see a lot of them even depicting a good strong tropical storm, even some of them uh, depicting a, a hurricane as low as even a 971 millibar hurricane. So, but the average pretty much keeps it a, a, a tropical storm uh, development. And as this moves in, but there, these are a lot of uh, members of the GFS model showing some sort of uh, tropical storm development coming out of the Caribbean for that uh, hot spot that we mentioned. So if we take a look at the overall uh, precipitation water vapor imagery, you can really see by Saturday, it really amplifies and intensifies on the GFS, uh, bringing three inch rainfall rates for this region. But you can see up north where the dry air, it's really kind of depicting where this is going to play out and how this is 
pretty much going to steer it uh, towards Florida because there's going to be a lot of dry air to contend with with that first front. And then the secondary front that's going to come in by Thursday and bring in those much cooler temperatures to the southeast, that's going to pull into the Gulf of Mexico and, and really start to uh, amplify it. Uh, you know, coming up for this weekend for this area down in the Caribbean. Now, if we take a look at the overall heat potential in the tropics, and you can really see it how this is uh, showing how this is played out. Now, this cold front is dropping all the way into the Gulf of Mexico, uh, lowering the temperatures of the waters in the Gulf of Mexico. But like I mentioned, this is pushing that warmer warmer waters even down further south and really amplifying this is almost off the chart heat potential so that's why this area has really got a strong a strong fruition of coming to tropical storm development because they're just really amplified like i said i think all this is just kind of come together as a squeeze play it's kind of setting up shop right now and uh something's gonna pop in the next uh th you know three to four days uh, out of this area and kind of really kind of starting to get its act together. So if we take a look at the overall steering winds of where it's going, you can see all the steering winds coming out of the Western Caribbean, coming out of the main development region, pushing westward. You can see these arrows. And as this comes up towards the Yucatan through Cuba, this will naturally draw it northward and then eventually northeast into Florida. And you can even even see down in the Texas where these upper level winds as pushing it into Florida. So all the winds are traversing the upper ever upper level airflow towards the Florida region. So that's why I think this thing, when it does develop, it's going to be steered towards uh, Florida. And here's the overall simulated water vapor imagery for early next week on the Euro model and even shows it even further. A lot of dry air into the Gulf of Mexico with that second front really amplified uh, down south and the jet streak and everything will push it all the amplified uh, abundant water precipitation into the florida region dumping some extremely heavy rainfall uh, for that for that region and eventually i think this will ride up the, the east coast and here's the overall weather prediction center uh you know rainfall amounts for that region now i think these are will start to really kind of like amplify as this thing kind of really starts to get get its act together. But even now it's showing, you know, multi-inch rains uh, coming up for over the next uh, seven to 10 days, floor of Florida, and then it will eventually right up the East Coast. But you can see Texas, a lot of Louisiana, a lot of Alabama, Mississippi, pretty much dry. So a lot of this, uh, a lot of the flow is going to be towards uh, Florida for this tropical storm. Now, if we kind of expand the view and show you the overall uh, Euro uh, precipitation over the next through early next week, it shows that first line that's coming up the East Coast right now that we talked about with that nor'easter dumping ex some extremely heavy rainfall for for the Northeast. And as this gets its act together down south, it'll be dumping some heavier rainfall for Florida. And eventually, even then, that will bring up some more additional moisture later on in the game and up going riding up the coast of uh, the, the northeast. And if we even if we go to the latest uh, GFS, kind of showing the same thing, again, keeping it well away from Texas, well away from Louisiana, more or less steering a lot of the flow <clears throat> out of the Gulf, out of the Caribbean, more the more um, you know precipitation floor florida and you know multi-inch rains for that region so hey i appreciate you guys uh watching this video and keeping me keeping you updated on gamma if you did find value please uh like the video and definitely comment and please subscribe and catch me in the next video where i protect you before and after the storm